Yophelim Jubilees 46. And it came to pass that after Yaakov died, the children of Yashara'el multiplied in the land of Mitzrayim, and they became a great nation, and they were of one accord in heart. So that brother loved brother, and every man helped his brother, and they increased abundantly and multiplied exceedingly. Ten weeks of years, all the days of the life of Yosef, and there was no Satan nor any evil all the days of the life of Yosef, which he lived after his father Yaakov. For all the Mitzrayim honored the children of Yashara'el all the days of the life of Yosef. And Yosef died being a hundred and ten years old. Seventeen years he lived in the land of Canaan and Ten years he was a servant, and three years in prison, and eighty years he was under the king, ruling all the land of Mitzrayim. And he died, and all his brethren, and all that generation, and he commanded the children of Yashara'el before he died that they should carry his bones with them when they went forth from the land of Mitzrayim. And he made them swear regarding his bones, for he knew that Mitzrayim would not again bring forth and bury him in the land of Canaan. For Makamaran, king of Canaan, while dwelling in the land of Ashur, fought in the valley with the king of Mitzrayim and slew him there and pursued after the Mitzrayim to the gates of Erman. But he was not able to enter, for another, a new king, had become king of Mitzrayim, and he was stronger than he, and he returned to the land of Canaan. And the gates of Mitzrayim were closed, and none went out, and none came into Mitzrayim. And Yosef died in the 46th Jubilee, in the sixth year, in the second year, and they buried him in the land of Mitzrayim, and all his brethren died after him. And the king of Mitzrayim went forth to war with the king of Canaan in the 47th Jubilee, in the second week, in the second year. And the children of Yashara'el brought forth all the bones of the children of Yaakov, save the bones of Yosef, and they buried them in the field in the double cave in the mountain. And the most of them returned to Mitzrayim, but a few of them remained in the mountains of Chevran and Amran. Your father remained with them. And the king of Canaan was victorious over the king of Mitzrayim, and he closed the gates of Mitzrayim. And he devised an evil device against the children of Yashara'el of afflicting them. And he said unto the people of Mitzrayim, Behold, the people of the children of Yashara'el have increased and multiplied more than we. Come and let us deal wisely with them before they become too many. And let us afflict them with bondage before war come upon us and before they too fight against us else they will join themselves unto our enemies and get them up out of our land, for their hearts and faces are towards the land of Canaan. And he set over them taskmasters to afflict them with bondage, and they built strong cities for Pharaoh, Pitam, and Aramech. And they built all the walls and all the fortifications which had fallen in the cities of Mitzrayim. And they made them serve with rigor. And the more they dealt evilly with them, the more they increased and multiplied. And the people of Mitzrayim abominated the children of Yashara'el.